You talk about us. The bear stories are always so interesting. Interesting like us. Midnight, and all the animals are sleeping peacefully on the farm. But outside it, some are not asleep. It is the right time, for example, for the fox to go hunting. by the chicken coop. Look, Billy's asleep. After that tough night capturing that fox, he needs some rest. What are you talking about? Everyone knows guard dogs don't sleep. They just pretend to. Well, if you're right, he's an awfully good huh. pretender is all I can say. This is a wolf scent. Let's pass by here. I tell you, I was right. Guard dogs don't really sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
they just pretend to. Now old Mr. Wolf is in a heap of trouble. <laughs> we have to track him down and show him he's not welcome here. <laughs> Lucky to have that wonderful guard dog. <laughs> He's gotta be around here somewhere. The scent is very strong. Go on, you drag him down. I'll stay here and guard the pig pen and the chicken run. <laughs> There goes Fido to the attack. But shouldn't it be old Billy who goes after him? He's the one with all the experience. You don't understand these things. Billy gave Fido a lesson last night with that fox. And now... I get it. He said they'd find him out on purpose to give him confidence. Right. <laughs> <laughs> open, because you never know where danger may be lurking. Come on, you, when you least expect it. <laughs> but you got nothing to worry about, because you're out with old Billy. Where are my children? Where are my children? Where are my children? Where are my children? Hmm. Uh, there's something moving in there. Stand back! Stand back, I said, kids! <laughs> Come on out of there, whoever you are, it'll be the worst for you! What's wrong, Billy? Why are you making all that racket? Oh, it's you. I thought I was saving the kids from the big bad wolf. Speaking of wolves, could you do me a big favor? See, I brought the little ones out on a field trip, and, well, I'd like them to think we just, uh... We've just met a ferocious beast. <laughs> yep. You always were quick on the uptake there, Mr. Goat. That's the idea, all right. It's all right with me, but I'd like to know why. Actually, if you stop and think about it, it's obvious. Can't hear what they're saying. Well, the truth is, I'm getting on in years a bit now, and young folks don't have the confidence in me they once did. Uh, you know, I could use a bit of help, you know, show them. I see. You don't want to be put out to pasture. Yes, I've still got a lot of good service left in me, and besides, I haven't finished training young Fido yet. Okay, let's go, Billy. All right, all right, I'm leaving. Have you ever think about making trouble around here again? So cross. Get out! Disappear! <laughs> this is your last chance! I am out of here! <laughs> Did you see how he ran? <laughs> Fido, 
Bottom's here! What's oh, up? please help us, Fido. All the little ones have disappeared. We're at our wits' end. We can't find them anywhere. All my chicks are gone from the nest, Fido. <laughs> now, let's stay calm. I'm sure old Billy knows something about this. Billy! Billy! Billy, where are you? Here I am, Fido. Oh, thank goodness. Where are the kitties? Hmm? Me, of course. It's just that their mothers are extremely worried. We did have a close shave, though. A ferocious animal tried to attack us. We've got to get the little ones back to the farm, Billy. You're absolutely right, Fido. But we have to organize the retreat so that it's well protected. Now, here's how we'll do it. You stay here and fend off the beast while I accompany the little ones back home. That sounds like a perfect plan, Billy. You go ahead as soon as you're ready. Fido, I'm proud of you. You're turning into a wonderful watchdog. You're smart as a whip and courageous as a lion. Yep, I have every confidence in you. Well, I guess we'd better be going. Come on there, kitties. Time to go. from the attack of a ferocious oh. monster. Oh, Billy, how can I ever thank you for, for helping me and my two little children? You must be tired and hungry. Let me get you something nice to eat. <laughs> oh, yes, come to our place. <laughs> no, come no, with us, come with us. Our place, our place. Oh, oh. I want to be able to express my thanks to Billy, too. We'll make a real banquet out of it. <laughs> Everyone inside! That's it! Have some of these. And these. And these. Eat! Eat! Now that you've had a bite to eat, Billy, maybe you can relax a bit and tell us what went on out there, huh? One of my little ones tells me you were all attacked by a ferocious monster right in the middle of the woods. Well, that's not exaggerated. It wasn't a ferocious monster. It was just a mean old beastie looking to get into some trouble. Nothing more than that. And I hear you just stood up to that nasty thing with no trace of fear at all, Billy. First, you tried to talk him into behaving. Then, when I saw that wasn't working, I knew it was time to get tough. So I did. I growled at him. <laughs> I bet he's still running. <laughs> You're our hero. Billy the hero. <laughs> well, it's getting late and I need some rest, so thank you all very much indeed. Please, won't you have just another bite, Billy, please? You haven't tried these yet. Come on, Billy, won't you? Please? No, oh, I couldn't really. How foolish to leave your window open at night. Hey there, Mother Sow. Mm. You left your window open, but don't worry, I'll close it. Let me in. What is it, Billy? Please stop all that racket. It's terribly late. Boy, you'll wake up the baby. I have to get something I forgot. Let me in. 
Whatever it is, you can get it just as well in the morning. Now, for heaven's sake, go back to sleep, will you? The window. Get it from the window. Dogs like Billy and Fido. And so life on the farm returned to normal, and Billy stuck zealously to his duties as senior watchdog, especially in finishing off Fido's training. Being younger, Fido, of course, was faster and stronger than Billy, but he was still going to need Billy's wisdom for a long time to come. And so, in due course, the seasons changed, and the two dogs continued to work in perfect harmony. All the animals on the farm were happy and secure, knowing that they had such a wonderful team of guardians. How is the greyhound classified in the animal kingdom? The greyhound is classified as a mammal belonging to the order carnivores and to the Canidae family. Many greyhound pedigrees have been established, but they all derive from two strains.
species are there and where do they live? One strain originated between Britain and Gaul in ancient Roman times and developed into the English Greyhound. Another strain originated in Egypt around the year 4000 BC. How do they live? Greyhounds have no scenting ability and when you with hunting dogs, they locate and follow the prey not by tracking its scent, but by using their very keen eyes. How does it move? The greyhound is the fastest of all dogs and can run it up to 60 kilometers an hour. The English short-haired greyhound is raised especially for track racing. What do they eat? Greyhounds can eat everything humans eat, but their ideal diet is mainly composed of meat, vegetables and cereals. How do they protect themselves? By running away, since it's unlikely that an attacker could match their speed. How do they relate to people? They enjoy a solid, long-standing rapport with people. The ancient Egyptian pharaohs are said to have bred greyhounds. In more recent times, they've been the favorite dog of many historical personages, including Charles I of England. Can they live in a city? Yes, but it depends on the breed. The small Italian greyhound is perfectly at home in an apartment environment, but the larger species, such as the Afghan and the English greyhound, need wide open spaces in which to exercise. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that when there are those who depend on you, you must never let them down. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs> <laughs>